To ensure correct use, always read and understand the instructions for use of the Draeger Paz Air Pack 1 and 2 and the utilized components prior to use. The limitations of use and all warnings must be strictly observed. For further questions, please contact your safety officer or your authorized Draeger organization. The Draeger Paz Air Pack 1 and the Draeger Air Pack 2 are compact air supply systems that supply between one and four respirator wearers with medium pressure air using a breathing air supply. It can be operated either via the breathing air cylinders or by an external medium pressure air supply. The breathing air cylinders then serve as additional breathing air in an emergency. The Draeger Paz Air Pack 1 consists of a relief valve in the medium pressure system, a medium pressure gauge for the outlet pressure, a high pressure gauge for the cylinder pressure, high pressure input connectors, a medium pressure input, a medium pressure output, a medium pressure warning whistle, which sounds when the output pressure is low, a high pressure warning whistle, which sounds when the cylinder pressure is low, a hose connection. The Draeger Paz Air Pack 2 consists of either one or two of the above systems. The Paz Air Pack 2 has the exact same pneumatics as is found on the Paz Air Pack 1. Below operations are identical and should be repeated for both sets of pneumatics if both sets of pneumatics are required. Carry out a visual inspection and make sure the device is clean and undamaged. Only connect completely filled cylinders according to the instructions for use. The cylinders must have the same pressure rating. Carry out a functional test. Make sure that the cylinders valves and vent valves are closed. Open one of the cylinder valves fully. The high pressure gauge must show at least 80% of the maximum bottle pressure. The medium pressure gauge must display between 6 to 10 bar. Open the vent valve of the unused cylinder completely. If you do not hear any leakage, close the vent valve again. Now completely close the cylinder valve of the bottle used. Wait a minute. Observe the high pressure gauge and open the cylinder's valve again. The pressure gauge may increase and is allowed to indicate a maximum pressure change of 10 bar. Close the cylinder's valve of the cylinders used. Pull the handle of the relief valve to slowly release air and watch the high pressure gauge. The warning tone of the high pressure warning whistle must be between 60 and 50 bar. Watch the medium pressure gauge. The medium pressure warning tone should stop between 5 and 4 bar. Finally, pull the handle for the relief valve to vent the system. Repeat the functional test for the second cylinder. Connect the air supply equipment to the outlet of the hose reel. If you want to use the Draeger Air Pack 1 autonomously, open one cylinder valve completely. Put on the breathing apparatus and connect it to the equipment. Connect the external supply to the medium pressure inlet connection. Make sure that a pressure of 6 to 10 bar is displayed on the medium pressure gauge. If necessary, adjust the external supply. Make sure that the cylinder's valves are completely closed. Put on the respirator and connect it to the equipment. If your Paz Air Pack 2 is equipped with two compressed air systems, then carry out the above steps again if necessary. If the external air supply fails, open the cylinder valve fully and disconnect the external air. The high pressure whistle warning unit indicates it's time to replace the depleted cylinder with a fully charged cylinder. To do this, open the second cylinder and close the first depleted cylinder. Open the relief valve on the depleted cylinder to vent the trapped high-pressure air. Then close the vent valve. Disconnect the cylinder and 
replace with a fully charged cylinder. Once in a safe area, remove all breathing equipment. Disconnect the external supply and fully close all cylinder valves. Put the handle of the relief valve to vent all air from the system. Disconnect any airline equipment from the PAS Air Pack 1 and fit all protection caps. In accordance with manufacturer's recommendations, routine maintenance is required in order to ensure product operates efficiently. Please refer to the instructions of use and service manual.